Hello, this is Michael Powell again, and this is Publishing in Expression Web 4. So by this point, you have your website and you want to publish it to your web server. Now, Expression Web has an excellent tool built into its package called Publishing, and all you need to do to access it is go to the Site View tab, as we can see we've done here, and just click on the Publishing section right here at the bottom. Now, it says here to connect to a current publishing destination, and that's because I've already added one, because I've been using um, Expression Web for a while. But what you'd need to do to start off with, it will tell you that it will say there to add one. Um, but if it doesn't, you can just go up here and say add a publishing destination. And here is where you put in your information for it. And again, name is just your unique identifier, as you can see here by connect to. I've just called my website, just because I have one which I publish to uh, at the moment. And then again, here you find all the very um, same stuff you find using things like FileZilla. You get your location, the directory. So if you don't put in the directory, it will just access your root folder, but you can um, add folder extensions. And then here you've got username and password, and then how many connections you want to have. Okay, but we don't need to add, we'll just connect, which is you can do up here, or again, just by clicking this link. And as you can see here, it tells me, just directly off the bat, what's unchanged, what's not matched, what's been changed, and what's been excluded from publishing. Now, excluding from publishing means that it will never copy over those folders. And again, you can see here that I've got .svn, which is used with um, Visual SVN Server. And of course, I don't want that being published to my web server. But something I do want to do is a new page that I've created, as you can see there, which is unmatched. So what I'm going to need to do is to select that and just, copy, and just click on this arrow, and it, as it says, quite simply, publishing to destination, destination site. And there it goes, and there it publishes. And as you can see here, uh, this area popped up, which says publishing status. Now, if you are publishing many files, you see it says queued, so it can show you all the files that it's currently either uh, transferring over at that point, or any files that it's about to transfer over. And here, failed. You can see here it's got the file, the destination, and the error. And it's this. It will list their files, so you can look back through and go, ah, oh, that wasn't published, or that wasn't transferred over. I need to do that one. And again, you can see here that um, it's shown me that the published file that I wish to put over on my web server has been published successfully. And it tells me the time and where exactly it was published to. And you can see there that it was published to that location. And of course, the log there shows you in more detail everything that happened. Okay, and that is publishing pretty much. It's extremely simple. Um, and again, it's all built in. Um, stress from the install, you just need to uh, calibrate it to your web server with again the location, uh, any directory, the type of connection you wanted to use, and the username and password to gain access. And um, yep, yeah, that's been publishing. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to have more up soon. Goodbye.